New tonight, a car attack caught on camera. Surveillance video captures a car and SUV collide while speeding down National Avenue. Police say the car's driver hit the SUV on purpose. It happened just before 4 o'clock this morning near 37th and National on Milwaukee's south side. 12 News' is Nick Bors joining us live there. Nick, you told me you've got something that you've never seen before. All right, this is a new one, Deanna. Take a look. Look at down at the bottom of this wall here. This is a tire track. You can see the treads there. And up here, another tire track, along with a circle from the spare tire underneath the SUV. That means that vehicle was traveling sideways on this wall here after the crash before it rolled over on the sidewalk and plowed into a couple of parked cars, one of them still on the scene here. Surveillance video shows the crash as the two vehicles were speeding west on National side by side, according to witnesses so close they were touching each other when the car forced the SUV to wipe out. Police and sheriff's deputies flooded the scene at 37th and National just before 4 a.m. A red SUV was flipped on its side, hitting a building and two parked cars. Across the street, a car hit a different building. I saw that it was a bad accident. <laughs> Francisco Placencia saw the scene when he got to work today, then checked his video. It looks like there's only one car to begin with, and then once you actually go a couple clips more, um, you actually see the other car hit the back side of the, the red car, and then that's when it actually loses control and hits the Nissan and the Subaru. After the collision, the car turns around and comes back towards the crash, where it was spotted by a passing deputy who turns to follow the car, which jumps a curb and hits a building, and the driver is ordered out of the car. Police say that 64-year-old man driving was arrested for recklessly endangering safety. The 49-year-old driver of the SUV and his 46-year-old passenger were injured, but survived the wild crash. Tire marks on the wall, like, it had to have been really fast that they were going in order to even lift up a car that heavy in order for it to, you know, total out two cars. Incredible, Nick, that you painted out with the picture for us to kind of envision what happened here. Did police have a motive for why they believe the car driver intentionally forced itself into the SUV to crash? They said that part is still under investigation, but they don't have a motive at this point. Although I did talk to a woman who saw this whole thing and she described it like the one driver looked like they had a vendetta, she called it, against the other because he was driving so aggressively. All right, and we're still going to press MPD to see if they have any more information on a motive uh, moving forward. Nick Bohr reporting live in Milwaukee.